In the world of CPU air coolers, there are a bunch of different categories. We have small form factor coolers meant for tiny ITX builds, compact coolers meant for small form factor cases that actually thought about cooling, and the usual stuff meant for the usual user. But today is not about the usual user. Today it is all about the really heavy stuff. Welcome to the Battle of the Big Boys, a challenge in which we take three of the biggest coolers we have and we let them fight against each other in a variety of categories. We have compatibility, difficulty of installation, build quality, noise and performance. All of these categories will help us to determine which one of these is the very best. Be Quiet's Big Boy Dark Rock Pro 4, Arctic's Big Boy Freezer 50 or Noctua's Big Boy NHD 15 Chromex Black. The order in which I just listed all of these categories is by no mean random. As it usually is in life, some things are just more important than others. Take difficulty of installation for example. Sure, it's a great thing to have at the moment you buy the cooler, but once you've installed it, who gives a crap? This is why we categorize this challenge in a way that every category can earn more points than the previous one. Starting off with compatibility, where the best cooler will earn 3 points, the second one 2, and the last one only a single. Then for difficulty of installation, we will start off with a maximum of 6 points, followed by 4 for the second place and 2 for the last one. This pattern then continues with 9, 6 and 3 for build quality, all the way up until we have a maximum of 15 points for performance. This kind of point distribution makes total sense for us. Of course performance should be worth more than raw noise and raw noise should be worth way more than build quality. The only thing that kind of sticks out is compatibility which should be very important but as it turns out, in our opinion, all of these coolers are pretty much equal and we will get to that but we had to use a lot of imagination here as judging a cooler by its compatibility is like buying the wrong tires for your car and then bitching around that the Blue Hawk replacement tires do not fit on your 21 inch rims. It's... Uh. But let's finally begin the competition with the first round. Compatibility. As said, this will be a very complicated one. Sure, we could go over each compatible CPU socket of each cooler and be like, yeah, the Dark Rock Pro 4 covers both the oldest AMD and oldest Intel socket, but I'm not going to do that. I do not see a reason why I should count the compatibility for a socket whose CPU has the, roughly the same processing power as my coffee machine as a plus. No, what we did is a few simple minimum requirements. AM4, check. LGA 1200, check. Okay, what about the recently released LGA 1700? Well, all three of them got an available LGA 1700 mounting kit, which will most probably be included in the near future by default, so check. Mm, okay, um, let's go with RAM clearance. Finally, we have a difference. While all three coolers offer a respectable RAM compatibility, the Freezer 50 got a really big issue. Due to its fixed basically everything, it is only compatible with RAM shorter than 37.5mm and this leaves out the pretty important stuff like G-Skill Stride and Z's. The Dark Rock Pro 4 and NHD 15 on the other hand have fans which are movable up and down. This means that we had to go a bit more specific. If we move the fan of the Dark Rock Pro 4 and NHD 15 to produce the same 165mm total cooler height, it leaves us with up to 42mm high RAM on the Dark Rock and only 32mm high RAM on the NHD 15. And finally we have a winner for this category, with the Be Quiet bringing 3 points onto House Be Quiet, the NHD 15 bringing 2 points to the Austrian neighbors Noctua and the Freezer 50 leaving with a single point. Onto the next category, difficulty of installation and hui, this is gonna be a very easy one. Even though there is nothing fun about the screeching noise created while installing a Freezer 50 central fan, it is still a very delightful experience compared to the aneurysm that this non-fixated mounting bridge creates. The only contestant who did not fuck this up is the NHD15. The movable bridge is pre-attached to the cooler and the screws are waiting to be screwed down where they are supposed to be instead of falling away into the void where you will never find them again. 
So without a doubt, the NHD15 will get the maximum 6 points, while the Freezer 50 will get the annoying but I will survive it 4 points, and the Dark Hammerweight will only get 2 points for making me suicidal. This then leaves us with a total of 8 points for Noctua, followed by Arctic and Be Quiet with the same 5 points. On to the next category, build quality. This one was hard and easy at the same time. To rip off the band-aid, I'm sorry Arctic, but with the amount of plastic and that screeching noise, it, it basically forfeits you from this round. It's like, the freezer is not unrigid, it is just plastic. So on to the Dark Rogan NHD15 then. Surprisingly, something that I very much disliked about the Dark Rock Pro 4 actually made it better, this top plate. Just look what happens if I squeeze the Noctua. Ahahaha, <laughs> stop. The Dark Rock on the other hand is like, the name suggests a freaking rock. You can squeeze it, you can push it, you can pull it, you, you can hit that thing with a hammer, nothing will happen. The fins might be bent in the end, in the end but the cooler will still stand. This then leaves us with plus 9 points for the rock, totaling at 14 points, plus 6 for the NHD15, totaling at 12 points, and 8 points for Team Arctic. So far, the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 seems to be having a lead. But before we judge, on to the next and the first really important or mandatory category, noise. Here again, I needed to add a little caveat, cause, yeah, guess what, a cooler with unplugged fans will always be the quietest. And that's just, that's just unfair. So what we are going to look at is noise to performance and then see which cooler will be the quietest, but not like at a specific PVM rotation, but like the spectrum in which all three can reach the same temperature. And it's pretty crucial that they are measured at the same temperature level, cause otherwise the coolest cooler will also always be the quietest at the given temperature. Or the loudest, depending on when you see it. Anyway, we are looking at this section here on our usual 3900X noise to performance benchmarks cause, sneaky me, I was able to repurpose all of my benchmarks. Here we can see that the NHD15 is performing the quietest at 53 degrees C. But the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 takes the lead immediately after that and stays at the top until the very end where both coolers normalize at our noise floor. Except for the Freezer 50 which it's like the kid that shows up at a basketball court wearing a baseball glove and wondering why nobody wants him on his team. Anyway, plus 12 for Be Quiet, plus 8 for Noctua and plus 4 for Arctic, leaving us with the Dark Rock Standing its ground at 26 points, the NHD15 at 20 points, and Arctic at 12 points. On to the last and most definitely most important category, raw performance. The type of performance where you don't care about noise, you don't care about your electricity bill, you just got that new 12900K and you need to keep that sucker cool. At full blast, using our benchmark on the 3900X, the NHD15 managed to keep the CPU at 48 degrees C, followed by the Freezer 50 at 51 degrees, and the Dark Rock Pro 4 scoring the last place at 53 degrees. This means that the Dark Rock scored 5 points, totaling 31 points, the Freezer 50 got 10 points at 22 points total, and the NHD15 got the biggest win at plus 15 points, taking a huge leap forward, surpassing the Dark Rock and landing a total of 35 points, which means that we have a winner! With a total of 35 points, Noctua's NHD15 is the crowned winner of the Battle of the Big Boys Tournament. The Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 managed to keep up an interesting battle and the Freezer 50 was present. But wait, what about the price? Well, the price is pretty important, isn't it? And I had a special idea for that. Instead of making a special noise to performance to price calculation which nobody will get anyway, I just looked up the cheapest price I would have to pay for each given product at the time of writing the script and for each 10 bucks I would have to take out of my wallet, I will subtract a point. This means that a cent over a multiple of 10 means you will lose a point. And I'm sorry be quiet but that 99 cents will kinda screw you now. And wow, it's like I didn't already knew the numbers when I started filming today. Nothing changed at all. The NHD15 is still the overall winner at 25 points, with the Dark Rock Pro 4 being a tick closer at 23 points, 
and the Freezer 50 being a bit less present at 17 points. And all of this means that even while taking the price into account, the NHD15 is still the undisputed winner of the battle of the big boys. Whew. I would like to thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it and I just wanted to remind you that although I made a lot of jokes on each cooler, all three of these are the very best in that category and I was looking for the smallest details to determine which one is best cause out of my top three, someone had to be the best. But if you want to keep watching, have a look at the individual reviews about these coolers, they are also fun to watch. Anyway, hope to see you in the next one, bye bye.